Hello everyone, Bray Scooter here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Mania! Last time we started the game, and I kind of gushed over how they made this game a little bit better overall. So, back in Chemical Plant, my favorite, one of my favorite stages in the game, if not actually my favorite. It was also my, it was also one of my, my second favorite in Sonic 2, being that this is where this is from. Dang it, nothing there. But, yeah, they, this is my favorite, but, something, oh gosh, wait, I want to go up. There is an easy way to get back up with Sonic, don't worry. It's not like I'm cheating death, or cheating the game, so let's say. Okay, I wanted to go up even higher. Frick. I found this on a previous playthrough. Anyway, there was something I was going to tell you guys about this game that I forgot. Other than special stages are kind of a joke. Or, Special stages are going to finally start getting rough. And by get rough, I mean they're going to get just slightly a little more unpleasant. So, a lot of people who have played this game for YouTube already, they've, they've told you, they've kind of give. there's a lot of people who have given like, what they feel is their stencil for beating these stages simply. And quickly, and efficiently, and all that jazz. There's not really a stencil. It's... This is just my opinion. Take it to what you will. But there's not so much really a stencil for how to easily beat these stages. It's more of a... It's more or less, you know... Keep an equal balance of get blue get blue spheres and get rings. There's no extreme exact math. There's no exact science. Just balance. Just keep balance. Also, you can catch up to this robot like Mach 2 if you take pro corners properly, which I did not. Mach 3 helps a lot. But like here. I got him. Simple. Now, I don't know where every single special ring is, but I think I know where enough of them are that I can keep, that I can get us to max, uh, get us to all seven Chaos Emeralds fairly early on, but I'm going to try not to abuse the Chaos Emeralds, uh, quote unquote abuse them, uh, as much as, as much as before, by the way, so, I was starting to mention it, but I've, I trailed off very easily, and I should bring back around. So, I'm going to try and show off as much of Sonic Mania as possible. But being that it's in the style of a classic 2D game, we're going to see if this is anything. Nope. Being that this is in the style of a classic, a classic game, you know, you're going to see a lot of... There's not really too much to flourish on, even if I... For what I'm about to tell you, is that... Because the game is designed such a way where... Knuck or Knuckles' path. Let's go down here. I've never been down this way. There's, there's gonna be not gonna be really enough, enough DV. Wait, I wanted to go up there, didn't I? Huh. Yep, I did. There's, there's not really gonna be enough deviation in this game to really warrant like a, a secondary playthrough with just Knuckles, even though his path is slightly different. But it's not different enough, or it's going to. His path is not different enough. Ugh. His path is not different enough from from everybody else's that we can, we need to spend an entire session on him. But I will, I will. Oh, I forgot to get that first hit off. Oops. We will take the time to at least show off his side his side of mania, which is like two things, like it should be. Anyway, this boss is kind. Oh, dang it. This boss is a bit of a rehash of a lot of Eggman bosses that have, like, insta-shields of their own that do damage to you. Where basically you just have to judge the 3D perspective and then hit them, hit them from underneath when the balls are... Yeah, you get it. Not that hard. Now, I'll need quiet for a minute. Because I want to draw attention to what is actually my favorite track in this game. I think you get the point. But anyway, 
So, the mechanic with this game, well, this is the normal blue goo that we're supposed to be afraid of, and they kind of drew, and in this remix version stage, they drew, they drew it up kind of like lava to emphasize the point, but inject some goo, it bouncy. Inject some more goo, super bounce. Oh my god, I love this stage so much. It's got it's just all over the place. It's all over the place. It makes like little to no sense. But it's sciencey and it's got all this awesome stuff going with it and just this is kind of the chemical plant I wanted in my Sonic 2, but alas, it was no smitch to me. What happens when I go on this? Oh, uh, I go over there. Neat. Kind of where I want to go to get to get a uh, special ring, I believe. We'll get it soon enough, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll still try get blue sphere stages occasionally, but I'm not gonna focus on them anymore. Our main focus is actually to get the. Uh, our main focus is going to be just to get the special rings, which I, th I know of at least one here. And when I, I'll recognize it as soon as we get near it. I'll recognize where it is. But yeah, you notice how the background is not the Sonic 2 background anymore. It's definitely an industrialized back background from like a scientist's lab. He's nice. I have a feeling I've already missed my special ring, but whatever. I'm not that. I'm not that worried. There's enough special rings, and I'm comp, and I feel competent enough as in this game now, where I don't think I'll miss them. God dang it! I have completed that one, and I perfected it as well. I don't know. Maybe I haven't, and the game's trying to tell me something. I'm just gonna bypass this a little bit, if you don't mind. Okay, so this is at, I bl pretty sure this is where one of them is. Nope. Get your balls away from me. Just up here is where it's gonna be. Also, I think I've passed the dreaded water part of this stage. I've managed to find a path that surpa that bypasses the the dreaded water locations. But, but. Risking it for that biscuit. Biscuit obtained. So yeah, let's um, gonna go up and over this time. I'll do that. I'll do that one down there next time. Perfect. Oh god. And actually, in our whole time here, I have not mentioned what happens if you get hit by any by anything. Well, you simply lose ten rings. Now that's not terrible, right? No, it is. Considering your rings equal out equal out to how much time you can be in this stage. So don't touch anything bad. Scooter says that's no good. Woo! Living, living, living fancy free. Um, problem. Okay, problem solved. All right, now we should probably hustle the bustle, hustle the bustle, and get at, get at him, cause. We don't get them soon. We're gonna run out of rings and not catch them in time. Yep. Don't worry. I got this. I got this. I got this, Sonic. <laughs> Case of point. Give me, give me your booty. Handled. I wasn't panicking, no, not at all. What do you mean panic? Scooter does not panic. He simply flails about. Needlessly until he gets what he desires. Let's go panicking. Don't question me. Anyway. Uh, I think we're actually almost at the end of the stage. And anybody who's seen my only other... Well, who's seen one of my other videos on this on this ser on this this game knows what's coming up. But it's a lovely gem of a thing. Hi, eggs, man. Let's compare IQ in Puyo Puyo. So someone, what is it? I played. So here's the funny thing is that I actually um 
is I was playing inside a friend's house a while ago, and I got to this I got to this boss. And I got to this boss, and he said, "Wait, this is straight up Puyo Puyo." See, we got the sound effects, or this well Puyo Puyo. Yeah, the same thing with this. This is this is straight up Kirby's Avalanche. To which I replied, "Wow, I'm actually surprised you know a Kirby's Avalanche, given our." Given our strange history together as friends, we, uh, didn't really play many games together. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just bop Eggman, if you don't mind. Eggman needs a good bopping in his life to set him down and make and make him humble. Actually, I could... Oh, wait, no, no, I need a green. I'm not the best to Puyo, but I got, I got enough skill, I got enough skill on combo chains. I messed it up, actually. Oh, well, double combo works. Eggman, you're kind of a little bone zoned here. Not a hard boss. Anyway, everyone, that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Sonic Mania. Come back next time when we're gonna go to finally some original content in the game. I'll see you folks later. Take care. <laughs>